So writing is more about premises. So to write about things that people can relate to, um, and maybe I can explain that a little bit. Um, so according to the Comedy Bible written by Judy Carter, uh, who is amazing by the way, um, basically said that you know you need to write about things that are hard, weird, scary, or stupid, and it's usually very relatable to the audience. You say a premise in the beginning of the joke, and then you, um, that's the setup, and then you do your twist for the punchline. So premises, right? Uh, I can write about like on you know, my breakup. It's usually good to write about something that you're going through. Um, you know, current event jokes are really already done by like the Daily Show and everybody else. So it's hard to be like unique and competitive when you're doing current events. One thing I want to talk about recently is that I really am afraid of black ladies in the subways. I don't mean to be racist or anything, but really, black ladies don't give a shit when they're in the subways. They Maybe it's not, I, need, I shouldn't take it so personally, but they really don't like me for some reason. They just push me out of the way. It's probably nothing personal. It's not just me. They push everybody out of the way in order to get to their spot. Or they're really great at boxing out. So when it's like a crowded train, um, they're almost like, you know, power forwards on the basketball court, just like boxing everybody out. So the premise is it's hard going through a breakup. But that's too generic. It's hard going through a breakup and remembering all the good times. And then maybe I can do like a twist. Like you have to remember the bad times to like counteract that. I don't know how to make it into a joke though. So really, I understand. Like if you're watching this for the first time and um, this is called premise writing, so I understand how we can, how this will come across as not funny at all. But this is really the beginning material. The beginning material is really all these kind of premises and observations that you use to um, comment about the human condition, and um, you know that's how. I mean, Jerry Seinfeld, he he said he. I mean, almost every comedian, even in New York City, they carry around notebooks like this. They're always writing down their premises. And uh, it really starts from here. The not funny, and then you you craft it to make it funny, and that's really the magic. Um, that's that's really hard to articulate how to do it. So um, this part is really important. I know this is not funny though. I mean, like to watch, but this is where it all starts, guys. All right. So it's scary to fight with black ladies in the subway. It's hard to go through a breakup and remember another good time. This is a pretty good roommate. These are pretty good ones. Anything else? That you know, you need to hang out with people to have some observations about people. Guys, so I guess I f have some good, I mean, not good, but you know, these are kind of the raw premises that this is like the mind that I have to dig through. But at least I got a page done today. I'm going to mark it. Today is October 30th. Thank you so much, guys. Hey, everybody. Uh, is the microphone on? Okay, good. Um, I went to a decent mic today uh, for the first time in like three months. But this one, they're super supportive. I love it. Um, it's where Joe does his hosts his mic at Otto's uh, Shrunken Head. I forgot. It's a bar in the east side. And I had fun. I, I was actually just gonna go watch because I missed stand up so much. And I don't know what the big fuss was all about. Like, I love doing it on the stage. And it just came back to me. I mean, I had fun. I had a couple of jokes that were good. Most of them were bad. But I just, I think, I just need to get back into the groove. And uh, overall, I had a lot of fun and I think I'll definitely be going back at least every Wednesday to go see Joe. Joe's a really nice guy and he hosts very well and he's very consistent, a lot more consistent than I am. So I feel really good. I feel like I'm alive. <laughs> it felt so much fun on the stage. It went by like lightning and I missed that. I'm going to be coming back guys. I'm super tired though. <laughs> see ya.